Welcome back my friends, welcome back to Sexy Age of Wonders, 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 there you go, the greatest turn-based strategy RTS game, which is not, but there you go, it is, but it's not RTS, there, yeah, who cares, moving on, last time things happened, now we have to heal. Because honestly, most of our units are pretty much dead, and if I even dare attack something, it's a GG. But the good thing is, we definitely destroyed the entirety of the inner reinforcement that was going towards these two cities, which we are migrating in the next turn, which are again three unrest. Ooh, that's bad. But to be honest, unrest could be a good thing. Maybe. God, if they unrest and there creates a massive flow of forces, I'll have to do something about it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do something about it, I'm gonna move back one of our units that I can do something about it. So let's... What, because we have definitely shown that the Slingers and any kind of ranged unit can do a massive damage if used wisely. We have seen what Goblin Darters can do, so we're gonna keep these guys into the possible enemy route. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, de-click the useless units and see how far can you get okay so at least one unit can as you can see some rest and we just want to have there maybe a unit to quell that unrest we also have this beautiful wizard tower where we can buy spell but remember that barely we have any money and most of our money is going to go on to building armies from hillsbury because really hillsbury can build everything in one turn being that it's much more upgraded city like, of course, this beautiful city. This, this city is our next target, mind you. This city is gonna be overrun by a massive amount of forces I'm building, and I'm hoping we're gonna succeed in that. And I'm truly hoping we're gonna succeed in that, because I'm just gonna make a lot of freaking units everywhere, wherever we're possible. Now that we are holding quite a bit amount of resources, and again, getting back certain towns in our favor, we can at least force a massive economic boost plus a massive military boost in our armada, which we do not have. Let's send the turn and see where it's gonna go. Well, that's nice. A massive army. <laughs> a massive army is right in, right there. Like, right there. A massive fucking army. Amazing stuff, guys. Amazing stuff. I'm loving this. They have a lot of stuff. I don't know why, where they're moving. They're probably moving towards this location. That's gonna be a bad mojo. They're probably moving towards that location, and that's gonna be a bad mojo. Now, the problem here is, if I attack any of these, the adjacent units will... Oh, wait. If I do attack this unit, this these units will move into formation. But again, as you can see, there's just no way... We can manage it, unless we utilize that tactic of fucking up the enemy in, you know, in a good way. <laughs> in a good way. Of course, we have to save again. I'm gonna save here again, because this, this is a this is a pivotal point in QE. Because this is gonna be try and try maybe to kill these guys, capture the town, because we lured these bastards, and that way we win. I mean, I'm hopeful, but that's not going to happen. Mostly because even if we lure these bastards, it's going to be difficult to, uh, you know, take care of our health. I mean, even if we do take this, they still have this catapult. They can still attack this city, and it's going to be a fucking GG. And they also have a battering map. So how do you like damn apples? You don't. Believe me, you do not like them apples. So they're now moving to the left flank because they know that the left flank is completely open for the enemy invasion. Which will probably happen in the next turn upon these locations. Which gives us some kind of an insight as to what is happening upon the enemy territory. Which means also that the enemy probably doesn't have much in terms of anything. So what I might do is go towards this, capture, take whatever items I can with my hero. With my girly girl, with my queen. And then we can move on. You know, have fun that way, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? I mean, this is, I mean, this is definitely the main army that I had. This is the very goddamn beginning of the previous turns. 
so now we are again waiting for this uh, for migration to happen and this army will be moving uh, to do something to try and capture whatever we can from this location now, again there could be nothing in that location that we can defeat because there might be a massive amount of monsters that we can e we can't even touch which this maybe just you know implies you know to the enemy like hey you can we can lure you a little bit you know and just lure them split up again that force this is the problem if we could have taken Storone this would be much easier if they defeat these guys the route towards all this is pretty much open and we lost the upper flank across that bridge and that of course is never a good thing so let's end again and let's see how this is gonna go I mean I'm, I'm scared I'm honestly scared because I okay at the moment they have not attacked anything they do not care it would seem for some freaking reason they just don't care maybe what happened you know happened or maybe they're reinforcing certain locations up there because something is happening. Do you remember there's a third faction doing something? We don't know exactly what, but they're doing something. And as you can see, we, in next turn we can uh, take Castle R Ruin. An ancient keep lies in ruins. Treasure and guardians may await within. Now, of course, that could be a massive amount of guardians of unknown kind. Oh, god damn it, we lost it. See, this is this is what happens. This is what happens. God damn it. Really? Wow. They have taken the city and fucked us over. That's what happened. Unrest. Unrest happened. We didn't have enough force to hold the city. And now we are paying it. <laughs> Fuck my life. Well, that doesn't really matter. Next turn we capture this, then do something about that. But that's fine. I mean, I, I'd expected as much, you know, that uh, that would definitely happen. And that's okay. Not really, but it's okay. Not really. It's never okay when you're getting bum-rushed by a bunch of evil goblins. But it's okay. It's okay. Not really. But it's okay. I'm going to fall back completely because there's no point. I, I'm not going to be able to do anything here. Without a battering ram of sorts, I can't do anything there. We need two battering rams for this, mind you. But we're gonna have enough forces at least to hold uh, this part. Let's end this and see how this is gonna go. And there it is, a half link city. That's always a good thing, let's get it up here. Automatic fighting. Who's your daddy, what did you do? You do not know. Excellent, he's dead, excellent. It's ours again. Did he remove the migration? Of course he did. He removed the fucking migration. Uh, this only happens to me. Okay, but but only by one. Okay, there's no more four turns for that bull crap. Uh, we can go for automatic. We can save here like a beast we are. Save like a beast and see how that's gonna go. Let's go on Q. Oh, I mean, we should make more of these. You know, like instead of... Wait, cancel. Let's make more because this is gonna... I didn't need to make more when I played one of the last times uh and of course yeah it's gonna be fun it's gonna be it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun guys it's gonna be it's gonna be fun let's save qr okay let's explore them ruins again can we go automatic let's go automatic we have an oh my god it's a dragon It's a dragon, and we lost three units, but we recovered an axe, of course. I have no idea what this axe does. One damage, a magic strike strike, whatever that means, a magic strike strike, it's a magic strike strike strike. It, was it worth losing three units over it? Not really, it wasn't, but you know what, we got an axe out of all that. That's cool, right? Eh, <laughs> like... <laughs> Uh, maybe that's okay. We have more units on the way. We have a pony rider and a half length swordman. Again, open city for misleave. Like it's totally open always for enemy just to get inside and rape, pillage, and burn children. We just can't 
get away from this, you know, lousy situation we are in. It feels like we are always going left and right, just having don't have enough of anything. And it feels pressuring, to be honest. It doesn't feel nice. It doesn't feel nice. I mean, I know that I felt the same thing when I played it the first time, and especially down the line when I replayed it the first time. And I was like, that doesn't feel nice. Why would that feel nice? Doesn't feel nice. Uh, again, not huge chunk of good infantry in the end, but I mean, good infantry. They have a fucking goblins, right? Who is that's not a good infantry of any kind? But I want to make now. Now we have a chance to make more units constantly, right? And that's what I'm going to be doing. Though I have to wait three turns like a bitch here. Like, just ridiculous. Which I'm, I can't believe. The, yeah, like, always going back back and forth like, uh, like a bitch. You're not doing anything. It feels like we're not doing anything. It feels, that's how it feels. That's how it feels. I'm not getting annoyed. I'm just stating the goddamn fact that I'm afraid to even uh, end the turn. I'm gonna end the turn. With my luck, we always go to shittiest places, honestly. Okay, chain lighting, yay! Now again, we have water and air one, so that's cool. Research. Dispel magic, which is good if we want to remove enchantments from a selected unit. And that's specifically in selected unit on your side, not on the enemy side. And that's it. That That's our choice. Guys, that, 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 those are our choices at the moment. Yes, that, that, those are all the spells, right? Yeah, that, I mean, choose whatever you want, that, that's what you get. Uh, vaporize. Frostbeam. Icy water pours down. Attempt to freeze units in the target area. Ooh, a target area. That's an AoE. That's an AoE. Research point 8. No, okay, 15 turns left. Well, that's fine. I mean, we're not <laughs> not in the greatest situation in terms of money, resources. And we're just getting bomb rushed constantly by a massive enemy force. Of course, that's not a good thing. We have to learn also how much, like, if that's like one unit always attacks, so that means only two units need to stay in that location to guard it, right? At least that's how it's supposed to be. Now, she has a healing magic also, which we can utilize immediately to heal her specifically. Because we definitely need a healing water on her as fast as possible. So she's always ready, you know, in the next turn to be, you know, like, let's fight. You know, like, let's be awesome and fight. This might fall again to the enemy. I'm hoping not, but if we can hold these towns, I believe I have more towns than them, but they have one strong town also. I mean, of course I have big more towns. It feels like we have. We also have some farms. Some halfling farms everywhere. It's just a question where to move which unit, to what to reinforce the most, right? Okay. Hey, we even grabbed that because we went over it. That's awesome, maybe. Yes, we did. Amazing stuff, demon. Amazing stuff. Thank you very much, I am amazing. Um, okay, I'm gonna wait for... Oh, there you go, another better... We might be able to get that if the enemy isn't there with the massive fucking Amado forces. Now we don't have two... F we don't have two armies, we have one, barely any kind of an army, and a little bit more incoming uh, towards us. Like, holy crap, I know we're not doing that great, I know we're low on resources, it's only plus 34, you know, just... Huge waste of resource, and yet we we're hitting goddamn walls constantly, and we can't get a fucking break. You know, it's kind of in a hard thing. I mean, we're playing the hardest difficulty, which is hard, but I mean, still, come on. You know, like, come on. <coughs> you know, like, ah. Uh, plus, my inability to be intelligent. Uh, we should have left with the life magic, because uh, it would seem, even though you have a choice to just have fun the way you want, it's gonna be damaging if you don't choose the default character, at least the first time you play the damnable flag, right? So there is absolutely nothing here, I checked that, so I wanna explore the entire map, we have to take every single goblin city, which I would go from across this location, attack this location, and go towards this, but if we can capture this and hold it enough to get the migration going, and hold it against the enemy forces, we can easily do 
something amazing with that. That's a massive amount of resources and new equipment and constant rate of one turn, which is holy shit, amazing stuff, right? Let me see, can I upgrade Hillsbury yet again? Yes, we can. It would seem we can. For some reason we can. I guess there is more to the halflings, but I don't think so. I don't think there are a huge chunk of units anyway to choose from. But then, okay, 18. We don't really have an ability to buy anything anymore. Anywho. So there you go. Excellent. We're gonna wait for this one. We're gonna con like concentrate a massive force around Stone Cleave and then Ray Pillage and Burn if possible. But do remember that the enemy knows where all, all our units are, so that could be damaging because now they are moving specifically here, specifically here maybe. But we can do the this dance, we might again avoid unnecessary damage in this part. So let's end and see this. Because the moment you see that our freaking army, it's like, oh my god, I, this is a GG. Can I go home now? No. Well, fudge you. Like, like, fudge you, sir. Uh, what I'm gonna see is to position most of these forces towards uh, specific points, and that is, again, um, uh, Stone Cleave. I need Stone Cleave. Okay, that's enough forces there. And we're gonna be... Joining up, but it's gonna be a lot. Uh, we have gonna finally have a few stacks of our own. We fought the good fight. Now it's time to hold on for as long as possible against the enemy. It's not gonna be easy. That's for freaking sure. Considering the amount of mana we get out of all that's only plus two. Of course, understandable. I said in the last video why. And uh, we have 52 gold pieces. Yeah. Like, you know, spam demon, which thing to spam, I ask? Which thing to spam? As you can see, the pony riders are definitely not, like, a lot. They, they have speed, which is a good thing, they have a charge. When attacking, increase the damage of plus two of the unit's first melee strike. That's only first, do you remember, they can attack three times in a row, which means only the first one gets that plus two. But if you see the difference is not that big, I mean, a Two L points, thank you very much. And one on attack. It doesn't look, but the cost is massive. Like, cost is freaking massive. I want slingers like a beast, because those have proven to be useful for the enemy as much as should be useful for me if I have many of them. Uh, how many turns? One turn, okay. Well, next turn we might be able to just get the fuck out of this place and hold the bridge, finally. And concentrate there because now we have a force of sorts. But the enemy is going somewhere. We have to utilize a specific point because they know we know that they know that we know that they might move somewhere. And if we know that they know that someone is moving somewhere, that means they know that we know that they know that where we are exactly. Which means something else. I do not know exactly, but they know that we know. And we know that they know, which is again an amazing thing. And again, we have to wait the next turn. This could be a battlefield. This could be an next battlefield. And in next turn, we might be have enough uh, units to counter the enemy armada. Again, they have a lot of units, and specifically wolf riders, which we honestly can't hold against. And there you go, finally. And I forgot one thing because I'm stupid. Fortify. Yeah, two turns. That's all. A little bit late for that. Jesus, that, that's a fuck up, there you go, a moronic mistake, by me, again, I forgot to entrench my damnable, um, things, I'm not gonna entrench this one, because if we lose this one, we're fudged anyway, we are fudged anyway, We can attack from two sides and rape and pillage burn if whatever they have here in stone. But the thing is, now this place here is in jeopardy. Because what they have there is OMG. These two things can kill everything that we have. And that's the problem. So in the next turn, this is gonna be a fight. 
how was I so stupid to not like, how can I always forget the most like build a fucking barricade you moron I mean I'm not gonna build here because when they take we have to fight and we again need uh, any kind of a f catapult or battering ram always that is we we'll always need that how the fuck am I so stupid and not realize that I need protection there and I could have done it in many turns and now we are kind of fucked now we are kind of fucked but that's fine I'm gonna end it here guys I wish you the very best and see next turn what the hell is gonna happen maybe something good maybe something not good probably not good because it's gonna be evil I wish you the very best as always